Dear family and friends, it seems a while since I've done one of these video messages, but here we are almost to the Feast of Thanksgiving. And actually on Friday, November 26, we'll celebrate the 135th anniversary of the founding of the Diocese of Syracuse, which actually gives even new meaning to our Thanksgiving feast. And so as you and I, on Thursday, raise our voices in thanksgiving to God, we do so not because everything's been perfect this last year, not because we haven't experienced our own sorrows, our own struggles, but we do so because our God is a God who does not abandon us. He hasn't abandoned us this past year, he hasn't abandoned us for the last 135 years. And more than ever as bishop, I've come to know that our God continues to walk with us. As we begin our synodal sessions of listening to one another, I have found God's presence even more. And I want to thank you for that. And I want to encourage you to be part of this journey because this journey is all about the next 135 years, as we seek even more to let Jesus Christ not only be known, but be, but be seen through this local church and its members. At Thanksgiving time, we give praise and thanks for those special gifts that God has put into our lives, our families, our friends, our jobs, our health, our health care workers, those who serve us through emergency services, those who serve us in business and in education. So many people who are out there trying to make our lives better. All of them, we salute. And yet, as we salute them, as we raise our prayer of thanksgiving for them, we also realize that the way thanksgiving is known is by our own thanks living by the way we show re respect and appreciation for one another. And so, as you and I now gather with loved ones on a day where we can say, thank you, God, we also are invited to remember what happens when we leave the table. That just like when we leave the table of the Eucharist, we're called to take our thanksgiving and to take the source of our thanksgiving, Jesus, out into the world. So also as we leave the tables where we gather on Thanksgiving Day, we also are invited to carry out into the world the care, the listening, that has happened there. For me, that is the heart of our mission as church, that we are called to be another Christ. Just as he listened, just as he cared, just as he took time for people, for me, that's the mission of the church today. That's how the good news of the gospel is known, when the word becomes flesh. And that's what we're going to celebrate on Sunday as we begin the season of Advent. It's all about letting the Word become flesh. It's all about helping others to wait in joyful hope. Because that's what Jesus Christ brings to you and me. In the midst of sorrow, in the midst of our own struggles, Jesus reminds us that God does not abandon us, that God is with us, 
and that he promises to be with us to the end of the ages, but also he promises to come to us again. That is why we can wait in joyful hope. And today as a diocese, I just invite us to consider how we can then be bearers of that hope, be bearers of joy. In a world sometimes that can be so, seem so oppressive and so dark, this Advent season, this new year of grace in the church, this new year of life of this diocese, let's make that commitment to be that light, to carry that lantern, lighting the way for others giving them hope, giving them peace, showing them the face of God.